Y'all got a new name, and it's pretty diverse. Let's take a look at it here on The Indie Ball Report. Hi, my name is Nick, and today we're going to discuss the new name of the Florence, Kentucky team in the Frontier League. As you can probably gather, the team formerly called the Florence Freedom was renamed the Florence Yalls after a lengthy name the team vote. While the Yalls may seem like an odd name for a team, it has large significance in the area. Yalls is saying, meaning you all. It's heavily prevalent in the southern U.S. In Florence, Kentucky, it's also the name of a water tower. In 1974, the water tower was painted to promote a soon-to-be-constructed mall. However, this violated a state law about advertising non-existent products. Thinking quickly, the mayor of Florence ordered the water tower be changed to avoid fines. It went now and ever since read Florence Y'all. What originally started as a cheap way to become compliant with the law became a local landmark overnight. Locals and people from all over know the I-75 landmark and has become ingrained in the culture of the area ever since. The local team even made a water tower the mascot, and it hasn't been shy about integrating it into the brand either. They gave away bobbleheads of the landmark and marketed the 2016 Frontier League All-Star Game as the Y'all Star Game. It's safe to say that while outsiders might not get why Y'alls was an option in the fan boat, for residents and locals, it made sense, whether you like the name or not. So the reception to the name was mixed to say the least. Already the desire to change the name stemmed from new ownership rather than fan demand. So when the top five names for the rebrand was announced, fans weren't thrilled. Then on January 21st at the town council meeting, we found out our winner. City council facing a big decision, approving a name change for the baseball team. No longer are they the Florence Freedom, it's now the Florence Yalls, as in the water tower. Cue the rash reactions. Fans were mad and happy at the same time, as fandoms in general are known for being bipolar. Some loved the name and thought it represented the community well. Others hated the name. They saw the name as stupid and the change completely unnecessary. And while I couldn't find the tweets I saw when the announcement was made, some people were hoping the team would go bankrupt for the change, which is just ridiculous and immature on multiple levels. Then there was everyone else that just stumbled onto the news. They, by and large, loved the name and wanted merchandise as quickly as possible, essentially embodying the saying, shut up and take my money. I saw a lot of people online wondering why ownership would make this change. It's simple, really. The name Florence Freedom is associated with a past ownership group. And while fans are certainly attached to the name on some level at least, it's important to establish your own brand. This is a new chapter in Florence baseball. So by continuing with the Freedom name, it seems like it's just a continuation of that, as opposed to a new mark. It's a new milestone for this ownership group, and they need to make themselves stand out. Plus, the peppermint look and the semi-hidden eagle logo isn't exactly unique or standout-ish, which isn't what you're going for, especially in minor league sports. Also keep in mind, like I say, this is independent league baseball. Of all the minor league sports, this is the one you're most likely to lose money on. So if giving the team a new identity helps fund the club and keep them in Florence for another 20 years, then you do it in a heartbeat. So while yes, it does seem like a money grab of sorts, it's not really done out of any malice. It's more done out of just proper marketing and well-being for the team. Now for people who were cool with the reband but dislike the name, I say this. The name fits the region. You would expect the team in Atlantic City to be called the Gamblers, the Blackjacks, or the Aces because the place is known for casinos. You go with what the local area is known for. You try to embody that. These teams, especially in minor league baseball, are supposed to be representatives of the community. They are supposed to embody everything and act as almost a pseudo meeting place for the community. So if Florence Y'alls is the best way to describe the Florence community, then you go with it. If the Blackjacks is the best way to describe Atlantic City, then you go with it. You go with whatever embodies the community the most. Plus, is there any better option out there either? Is Fossa Jockeys or No Socks better than y'alls? No. And at least there's a positive connotation to the local culture in the name. Personally, I don't love the name. I get the frustration. But the move makes sense. 
As I said earlier, establishing a brand is important, and the press and attention this name change has gotten is well worth the cost. There are dozens of people that probably don't know what independent league baseball is that have stumbled onto this name change, love the names, and thinks it fits the sport perfectly. And if those people are now inclined to either go out to the ballpark for a game and spend $20, $30 on a night out, or go and buy a $60 shirt or a $40 hat from the team, and that helps keep the lights on and keeps the players on the field, then I don't see how you can be upset with this. What do you think of the y'all's name? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And be sure to subscribe to our podcast, The Indie Ball Report, to hear more of my thoughts and the thoughts of my co-hosts as well. It's available wherever you can find podcasts. Also, follow us on Twitter at Indie Ball Pod and Instagram at Indie Ball Report to stay up to date with all the latest news and events in independent league ball. Be sure to tell us what you think and what you want covered in our next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and until next time, don't forget to play ball.